Friends and greetings, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you all in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King. Um, I just woken up out of a dream, and um, the Lord is leading me to share it with the body of Christ. So through obedience, Amen. I'm going to speak what the Lord wants me to speak. In this dream, I was in a um, like a photo studio and I wanted to print a picture in this picture I don't remember exactly what was on it but I remember the reason for it somebody that I knew who didn't believe in the God of Jacob, Isaac and Abraham lost his job and I was explaining to him that the God that I serve can get him another job but it was like in the dream it was like unless he had a, in my head unless he had a picture of me or of the day that I was telling him about when he got the job he would not remembered that it was my God that got him the job so I wanted to print the picture to show him so that when he got the job he could remember the reasons for him getting the job it was my God but when I was explaining to the person, the photographer behind the desk who was going to print the picture for me, she wasn't understanding. So I noticed that I had on me two portfolios otherwise. So I thought, let me show her a picture of a picture that I already have so she can understand what I'm talking about. So then, I began to show her a few pictures that I had with certain people on it. But I noticed in these pictures I, I kept showing they were naked. And she was looking at me funny like, why are you walking around with pictures of naked people? And I'm like, no, when I took the picture they had clothes on. Like, obviously one more, uh, they had clothes on. I don't know why they're naked in the picture. And then I was trying to get closer to show her. And I realized that I was in my boxers, my, my boxers, my underpants. Amen. Some call it brief. I call it boxer shorts, underpants. No shirt, no trousers, just my underpants. So I, I took a step back and I was like, wait, what is this? Why am I naked? And I thought the Lord telling me in the spirit, in the dream, you're naked because I don't want you having any pictures of yourself or of anyone. You are made in my image. Who said you can go and make images of yourself? You're meant to represent me, not represent yourself. So I was still in a dream talking like, I don't know, and I'm going through and no one had clothes on. And I'm like, what is this? And the Lord prompted me to come out my dream, to go on my knees. On my knees, I felt the Holy Spirit so strong. And the Lord told me very clearly, He does not want His children to be taking images. Then He sent me to His Exodus. Yeah? Exodus chapter 4, um, Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 says, Thou shalt not make any, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. And they'll just say, oh, graven means carved. It's not carved though. Okay. Okay. And any likeness. Likeness is a picture that's outlined of light. Photos are made of light. Of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water, or on the earth. So whether it's in angels in heaven, whether it's demons in hell, whether it's, 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 it's fishes in the sea or human beings or things, birds on the, on the planet, the Lord does not want us to have any images. Amen? So I was still like tug of war in my spirit, but Lord, like, what about the pictures of me and my kids and what about family members and blah, blah, blah? And the Lord sent me, say, you know what? Go on research. So I went now. I thought, okay, let me figure out what some of this stuff means. So. Image, okay, image is a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art, okay, so image is a representation of a person or a thing in art, so image could be the likeness, resemblance, depiction, 
portrayal, like a portrait, representation, or a statue. Talk about engraving images that are carved now. Sculpture, carved. A figure or figurine, a doll or carving, a painting, a picture, or a portrait, or a drawing, or a sketch. In Hebrew, the, the term for image is Salem, which is literally a shadow that is outlined or represented of the original. And Elohim, the great powerful one, filled the man with representation of himself. So God made us in his image. That's the original image. If you check photo, the word photo comes from the Greek word of light. And when taking a photography, it is used to describe a single image. A photo may also be referred to as a photograph. This is a combination of the Greek words of light and drawing, as a photograph is a drawing made of light. Okay. The Greek term for image is omot omoitia. Sorry, I can't pronounce Greek good. Which means similarity, resemblance, lightness, uh, sameness. Okay. And in Hebrew, images um, and imagination, similarity, resemblance, fantasy, correspondence or likeness. It's a portrait, likeness, profile, image, comparison, image, simil similitude, likeness, simulation, or something that's a simile. And if you went to school, done your work properly in school, similarly when you say something is like something, a metaphor was the other one. Yeah? And in plain English, it's a carbon copy. It's a put not co it's a copy, a portrait, appearance, a semblance, the quality of state of being like. Amen. So whether it's carved or photographed, it's the likeness, it's an image. And God doesn't want man to make no images of themselves. It says, chapter 20 of Exodus verse 4, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of the thing that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water, or that is in the earth. Because in Genesis the Bible says that the Lord made man in his image. If I can find that quickly. Exodus, hallelujah, first place I went. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image and our likeness so God said I'm making man in my image and my likeness that means I'm making man to represent me choice free will two hands two feet ten fingers ten toes two eyes two ears a mouth free will to choose God wants us to represent him not to represent ourselves amen and don't the devil isn't smart and cunning to walk around and talk about oh but an image is 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 a is a is a carving i'm not idol worshiping because the lord says idol worshiping amen it's vain amen now the lord also gave me to add to this message chapter 7 verse 28 of Deuteronomy Neither shalt thou bring any abomination into thine house, lest thou be cursed thing, lest, it, lest thou be a cursed thing like it, but also shalt thou det detestest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. It means don't bring no cursed thing in your house. Amen. There's another scripture also that says something like, if you bring strange thing in your house, they harbor spiritual flies, which means they bring demons. Amen. Are you prone to spiritual attacks? It could be coming from your photo. It's a cursed object. It's idol worship. And if you're honest with yourself, even now, look at this whole selfie game. Selfie, 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 selfie. Self, love of oneself. Love of one. Oh, let me capture the moment when I was next to this big building. Oh, let me capture the moment because the beach is so pretty. And you're self-worshipping yourself on that day. It's self-worship. Other scripture that the Lord gave me is Psalms 119 verse 104. Though thy precepts i get understanding therefore i hate every false way an image is a false representation of something a picture or, or an artwork is a false representation of of yourself it's not actually you it's a picture 
So it's a false representation. The Lord said, I hate every false way. Remember a sister, um, I don't remember her name, but she said that the Lord revealed to her that port portraits that you paint, that you paint, the Lord doesn't like it in our houses. And that's what actually prompted me to pray about, what about normal photos? But that was a few days ago and I actually forgot that I prayed about it. But I was, I'm going through for the last, I would say 10 days of a lot of deep prayer to the Lord to reveal to me what are the things that are hidden that could cause me to miss the rapture or to be left behind or if I die to go to hell. What are the things that am I doing that is not pleasing to you? What are the things that are hidden that the devil has deceived us into not realizing that are sin but it's actually sin? Because God does not change. But my human change and human change their conception of what sin is. But what God calls sin when Jesus was on the earth or when Moses was on the earth is the same thing he calls sin now. He might be more merciful and more graceful than then, but it's still sin is highs. And he says, I hate every false way. A picture is a false imitation of yourself. Amen. And then he led me to the finish on Revelation chapter, was it three? Revelation chapter three, verse 15 to 17. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and, in, and, and increaseth with goods and have need of nothing. And not knowing that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. In those photos, I was naked. And because I went to print them, I was actually physically naked in the store. And the Lord is showing me, this is how I see you. This is how I see you. When you're attached to these things. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit just said something to me just now as well. He just said to me, why do you think that, um, that people who do witchcraft and wizardry like to take people's photo and use it to do voodoo against them? To do witchcraft against them? Because in the photo they can see your nakedness, which is a sin. I used to have a saying back in the day that a photograph captures a person's soul. So for example, if a witch person or a wizard or a, or a warlock takes your picture secretly, if your soul, your spirit is not walking with God, upon that photo you would turn up naked. And this is why they can use it. So I will be I have I have beautiful children, glory to God. My wife is so beautiful, like but all those pictures are going. They're all going. I know what the Lord told me. And I advise you take this to the Lord in prayer and take heed. Please. Please, please do not come in the comment section and be like, I'm, 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 what's the word? They like to throw this word at me. Oh, you're a false prophet. Oh, that's legalism. Oh, God, don't look at those things. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's what, what about your wedding photo? What about this? What about that? Listen. I will tell you the same thing I'm telling you now. Go to the Lord in prayer. I'm only telling you what the Lord told me. I'm being obedient to what the Lord told me. If you don't want to take it to the Lord in prayer and risk it, that is up to you. But please, take it to the Lord in prayer and take heed. The Lord sees it as idol worship. The devil is very deceptive and cunning. Photo, 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 selfie, selfie, selfie. It's pride, it's self-worship. Oh, look how good I look in my wedding photos, though. Who said wedding photos represented a wedding? Huh? Adam and Eve was married. Did they have a wedding photo? Same with this whole wedding ring stuff. And brothers and sisters are saying, listen, no jewelry, no jewelry. No, art, no artwork adornment, no makeup. Oh, but I want to wear my wedding ring, though. It's fine. Why? Because when you got baptized, they said, pass the rings. Because when you got baptized, they said, let's put the rings on and bind them together through the ring. That's another thing that God showed me a long time ago, years, years ago, he's not into. That's why I keep telling him that I'm married, but where's my ring? Huh? I love my wife. She ain't gonna catch me wearing no ring though. And if you do your research that the Lord wants us to do, you would find out that the ring came from the Romans. Because they believed the four finger, one, two, three, four. They believed that this finger was connected to the heart. Scientists have proven them wrong, but they believe this finger was connected to the heart. So they're the one that made the ring. To go on that finger as a representation of binding one's heart or another person's heart. But the Lord said, well, I put together no man, no man make asunder. We don't need no ring to bind us together. The Lord binds us together. 
Amen. Adam and Eve was married. They didn't even have no ring. Oh Lord, you're just you just using me to speak right now. Mm. Verse chapter 4 of Genesis. And Adam knew he, Eve, his wife. There was the ring. There was his wife though. Because being married is a covenant between man and God. Between you and your woman and God. That's the covenant. Not because of a ring. But take that to the Lord in prayer too. Don't come in the competition with all this rubbish because I'm not going to entertain these people that the devil sends to argue with me. The Lord told me from their fingers are controlled by demons what they're typing. From their mouth is controlled by demons what they're saying. Do not entertain the conversation. You'll be, you get entangled. Bad manners corrupts good manners. So I won't entertain it. Take it to the Lord in prayer. But brothers and sisters, I have to share this because obviously we live in a society now where it's image this and image that and picture this and picture that. And I'm speaking to you right now. I'm looking at some pictures of my wife and my kids that... We'll be going. And in my book, I have um, a few pictures of of my um, my family. Lord, forgive me for that. Brothers and sisters, forgive me. I'll be repenting. Amen. I was just trying to show where the Lord brought me from to where he brought me to. Amen. I had pictures of myself in prison, on the roads, throwing up gang signs. Then I had pictures of me in my suit, changed new creation in Christ. I was just trying to tell a story. But the Lord doesn't need my help. The Lord don't need me to do things my way because, because I, he wants me to, 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 um, to share where I'm coming from. He's doing it through the testimony alone. I don't need images to do it. Amen. And if, and if I'm honest with myself, I don't know about you, but myself personally, a lot of them is for me holding on. I'll give you an example right now. I'll give you an example right now. This is a picture of me and my wife. Right? I blocked my wife out. She's a very beautiful woman. We know this. Well, yeah? The worldly dressing, snapback hat, all these slits on my eyebrow, vest tops. Sometimes we don't want to fully let go. We don't want to let go. Why should we want to let go? So another picture of me and my wife. In the street too much glasses, no shirt on. God forgive me. I'm just saying. What image are we really capturing though? This image doesn't represent God, it represents us and represents, represents us in a sinful nature because we're wearing a bubble number clothes. It's pride, it's a loss, the Lord doesn't like it. So I'm sharing this message, may it bless you and um, please take it to the Lord in prayer. Please take it to the Lord in prayer because I know what the Lord told me in the dream. When I went on my knees straight out of the dream, I know what he said to me and I know what he's been saying to me while I've been rec recording the message. He hates every false way. And an image is a false representation of yourself. It's a picture. Exodus chapter 20 verse, I believe, 3. Speaks about the Ten Commandments. A commandment of God. It is a commandment of God. Yes, 20. Yes, verse 4, sorry. Thou shalt not make any images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the waters, or that is on the earth. Scripture speaks for itself. Please seek the Lord in prayer, and if you have these things, please repent and get rid of them. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May the fellowship and revelation of the Holy Spirit rest and abide in you and me and us all. Help us to learn the things that the Lord sees as unclean and dirty and sin. And help us to not rely upon our own understanding. In Jesus' mighty, precious, holy name. Amen and amen. Shalom.